Uh, yeah, that thing. Is God trying to get your attention? Is he trying to say something to you? I think he is me. Let's just skip right over the intro, onto the welcome and into the video. Let's go right now. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back for another video. If this is your first time here, a super warm welcome to our community. My name is Jason and on this channel, we are all about reframing the way we see ourselves, other people and the windows of our world. Say, because you're digging what you're hearing already, I want you to go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now and ring that little notification bell because that way when I post brand new content on a weekly basis, you're gonna get notified right away. Let's just dig into that content right now. Let's go. So today I am trying something absolutely brand new and I'm calling it a five minute Friday. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a timer right down here in the corner and when I snap my finger, we're gonna have five minutes to finish this up and get us out and about enjoying our Fridays because well, I don't know about you, but when I look at my weather app, it says it's gonna be capital G gorgeous and I wanna be out there enjoying it. And well, today it's absolutely the same and I wanna be out there with my daughters having fun. So anyway, let's put five minutes on the timer, right in the corner, let's go right now. Okay, timer's ticking down, let's go. So you heard me ask the question, is God trying to say something to you? Is he trying to get your attention? Because as you also heard in the intro, he's trying to get mine and here's why I'm telling you that. So, I got this letter in the mail yesterday. Now you might be saying, what's the big deal? It's just a letter. It's from a small church in Osceola, Nebraska. Now, honestly, I get letters like this, oh, every so often, a few times a year. I'm a rostered ordained pastor through Lutheran Congregations of Mission for Christ. And so when churches within LCMC are looking for a new pastor, they're looking to call a new pastor, they'll send out a form letter to all the rostered pastors in LCMC. Not all of them do that, but many of them do. And well, I received a letter like this last week. It was generic. It was generically addressed, dear pastor. I opened it up. I read it. I went, hmm, that's interesting. I put it down on the counter and I thought to myself, that's interesting, but I'm really not looking to make a move. I've got two daughters that are getting ready to start college. My middle daughter, who's getting ready to go into her sophomore year at Miami, Ohio, which is an amazing public Ivy League institution. It's public Ivy. They're all super smart kids that are there. And well, anyway, she's going into her sophomore year, but it's in-state tuition. My baby girl, as you heard, just graduated high school. I'll put a link to that video right up here. It's a fun watch. Anyway, she's getting ready to go off to the University of Cincinnati for interior design, one of the top five programs in the nation. And oh, by the way, happens to be a state school and she gets in-state tuition. I'm not looking at moving my girls out of Ohio because they get in-state tuition. And quite frankly, this has been home for over seven years and this is where their friends are. That all said, when this letter came, my ears perked up. Here's why, a couple different things. One, second letter in two weeks. To me, that's a pattern and I don't believe in coincidence. And two, the envelope was handwritten. That's a little bit out of the ordinary. It's also a beautiful thing. And then when I started to look at the letter and I paid attention to the details within the letter, they personally addressed it to me, dear Pastor Bonickson. And it was signed by the call committee chairman. It was just nuanced in some different ways that are a little bit outside the realm of, of ordinary. And that's really beautiful. It's a cool thing. And to me, that was God saying, Jason, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to get your attention. And it's for me to go, okay, God, what are you trying to say? So what I'm doing now is I'm sitting back and I'm praying and I'm just kind of analyzing, God, what are you trying to tell me? And God's going to do that for you too. Now you might be a Christian, you might not be a Christian. Maybe you practice another faith or you don't have a faith at all. Regardless of what you believe or don't believe, God, or if you want to call it the universe, is going to try to talk with you. Is going to try to get your attention about something, about that next thing in life, whatever it may be. Maybe it comes in the form of a letter. Maybe it's somebody on social media, a repeating pattern, a couple different somebody's inviting you into an opportunity. Maybe it's multiple job opportunities that are starting to come in through LinkedIn or things like that, or emails from potential employers. Maybe it's a health condition. It could be any number of things, right? But when you start to see repeated patterns, instead of going, hmm, that's interesting, or it's just a nice coincidence, maybe step back and say, hmm, 
Is God trying to tell me something? Is God trying to say something to me? Is he inviting me into something new that's going to benefit me, my family, and a lot of other people too? Because when we start thinking that way, now we're reframing the way we see ourselves as God sees us. Reframing how we're seeing other people and reframing the windows of our world. That was my message to you today. So when you're starting to see repeated patterns, pay attention to them. If you don't know how to do that, comment down below. Let's engage in conversation. Let me help you out. If you're going through something like this and you think God's trying to get your attention, but you don't know what to do about it, give me a comment down below. Let's engage in conversation. Let me see if I can help you out. That's what doing community is all about. Anyway, if you think this content is great, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already and you're digging this content, crush that subscribe button right now. I mean, just smash that sucker, right? And then ring that little notification bell. And that way, when I post new content again on the flip side on Tuesday, you're going to be notified right away. Anyway, this is Jason. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk with you again next Tuesday. Bye for now.